We've been discussing power screws, so it's time to put our understanding of power screws to the test. And to do this, we'll do a sample problem from Shigley. We'll do problem 810. This problem specifies that a single square thread power screw has an input power of 3 kilowatts at a speed of 1 revolution per second. The screw has a diameter of 40 millimeters and a pitch of 8 millimeters. The frictional coefficients are 0.14 for the threads and 0.09 for the collar. With a collar friction radius of 50 millimeters, find the axial resisting load F and the combined efficiency of the screw and the collar. So when we see a problem like this, the first thing that we have to do is start understanding all the information that we have available. Right off the bat, we know that it has a pitch of 8 millimeters. So P is 8 millimeters. It is a single thread, so the lead is equal to 1 times the pitch. So when we go down to this diagram, I have a cross section of a power screw here, and we know that the pitch is going to be the distance between adjacent threads, and we know that's eight millimeters. This is a square threaded power screw, so we know that the thread width is four millimeters, the thread depth is four millimeters, and the land down here is also four millimeters. So we have uh, we have the dimensions that we need. There's another thing it says that the screw has a diameter. So the diameter goes to the outermost part of the threads and it specifies that diameter as 40 millimeters. So in order for us to do our calculations, what we need to get at is the median diameter. So we need to go right in here. And so we have to subtract from 40. If this height is 4, uh, then we have 2 millimeters here and 2 millimeters here. So we have to subtract 4 millimeters to get the mean diameter of these screws. So dm is going to be 36 millimeters. That's an important aspect of this particular problem. The other thing that we have to do is we have to relate power to torque. So it's telling us we have an input power of 3 kilowatts. So our power is 3,000 newton meters per second. And I have said before that power is going to be equal to the torque times omega. And it tells us that the speed is one revolution per second. And I know that omega is in units of radians per second. And so in order for me to get ra radians per second, I know that there are two pi radians per revolution. So my omega is just equal to two pi. So that says my torque is going to be equal to my input power, 3000 newton meter per second divided by 2 pi. And if you carry out that calculation, you find that the torque is just going to be equal to 477 newton meters. The next thing we have to do is we have to relate the torque that's applied to the force that is being exerted. So we're trying to figure out for a given torque that we are applying to this shaft. So we have some torque uh, and it's advancing because a nut is stationary somewhere along it. We need to know the force that this torque is going to be generating in the axial direction of the power screw. We need those equations that relate torque to force, and we know that the basic equations are that the torque is related to the force times the mean diameter of the screw threads multiplied by the lead plus pi times the thread friction times the mean diameter divided by pi times the mean diameter minus the thread friction times the lead. And we have to add to that the collar friction, which is going to be the same force F that's being applied, times the collar friction coefficient times the radius of the action of the forces on the friction collar. Now, we already know that this term is going to be 50 millimeters. In this term up here, we now know that dm is 36 millimeters. We know that F is 0 0.14. And we know that the lead is equal to the pitch because we only have one thread, that is 8 millimeters. FC is 0 0.09. We plug all of those things in. And so we have the torque on the left side, which we just calculated, 477 newton meters. 
is going to be F times all this stuff that we just evaluated over here. And we end up finding that the force is 57.3 kilonewton. The next thing that we have to do is we have to find the efficiency of this particular power screw, where we take the torque with no friction and divide it by the raising torque with both thread and collar friction. It turns out that this reduces to the force that we apply times the lead divided by 2 pi times the raising torque. We already know what the raising torque is. We know that the force is 57.3 kilonewtons. We've got to be careful with our units here. We have that the lead is 8 millimeter divided by 2 pi and that our raising torque is 477 newton meters. So if we're careful with our units, we find that the efficiency of this particular system is 0 0.153, or roughly 15%. Not all that efficient.